हेलो पीपल एंड वेलकम टू क्रेडार एंड विथ मी आई हैव दी बजाज पल्सर एन टू फिफ्टी दिस इज द नेकेड स्ट्रीट फाइटर वेरियंट ऑफ द न्यू पल्सर टू फिफ्टी लाइन अप इस बाइक की कीमत शुरू होती है फ्रॉम रुपीज वन लैख थर्टी एट थाउजेंड एक्स शो रूम एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बाय दी पल्सर एफ टू फिफ्टी विच इज अ सेमी फेड मोटरसाइकिल एंड दैट बाइक इज प्राइस एट रुपीज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड एक्स शो रूम बट दैट इज अ सेपरेट वीडियो सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू द क्रेड आर चैनल सो दैट यू गेट टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट द न्यू पल्सर टू फिफ्टी रेंज इस वीडियो में हम चेकआउट करने वाले हैं क्या फीचर्स मिलते हैं आपको इस बाइक के साथ वॉट आर दी डिजाइन हाईलाइट हाउ इज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस मोटरसाइकिल एंड शुड यू बाय दिस बाइक फॉर योर स्पोर्टी सिटी कम्यूट बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स लिसन टू द एग्जॉस्ट नोट ऑफ दिस बाइक सो योर गोज quite throaty isn't it for a single cylinder motorcycle now let's talk about the design highlights how does this bike look how does it stack up compared to competition because this is unlike any other pulsar ever on sale here in the indian market one look at the pulsar n250 and you will make note that this doesn't look like any other pulsar from the past sure bajaj claims that the design is evolutionary but this is all new nothing shared with the older motorcycles as the name suggests the n in the pulsar n250 stands for naked street fighter although the bike doesn't bring to the table a design which will take your breath away it sure does look modern from whichever angle you look at it features include a bifunctional led projector headlamp with flanking led drls mounted on a bikini fairing floating body panel design gray finished multi spoke alloy wheels with rim stripes backlit handlebar switch gear sporty tank shrouds fuel tank design which is unlike older pulsars split and step up seat design a very crisp and detailed led tail lamp split pillion grab rails short exhaust end can contrast colors on the engine and side panels and a useful tire hugger the new pulsar also gets an all new speedometer cluster which is very good to look at thanks to minimum bezels this houses an analog tachometer and a blue backlit digital display which shows you information such as range fuel efficiency clock gear position indicator digital fuel gauge and much more However there is no bluetooth connectivity on offer which is a big miss in today's date overall fit and finish is acceptable as per segment standards but the contrast decals should have been given a miss nevertheless the pulsar n250 is surely a sporty looking street fighter motorcycle now this is a brand new motorcycle bajaj auto has developed an all new engine for this pulsar n250 So let's talk about engine performance and how good is it to ride. Powering the all new Bajaj Pulsar N250 is a 249.07 cc single cylinder air oil cooled four stroke SOHC two valve fuel injected motor producing 24.5 PS of power at 8750 rpm and 21.5 newton meters of torque at 6500 rpm. Now most of you would be wondering why no liquid cooling on this modern motorcycle well bajaj claims that the pulsar customer wants value for money and this packaging is ideal for the segment bajaj has kept focus on easy riding with this motor trying to deliver the best of power and torque at an accessible rev range to give you an example the pulsar ns200 produces 24.5 ps of power and 18.7 newton meters of torque while the old pulsar 220 produces 20.4 ps and 18.55 newton meters so this modern pulsar 250 is offering you the best of both worlds bajaj claims an arai certified fuel efficiency figure of 39 kmpl for this motorcycle Overall refinement on the Pulsar 250 is the best ever on a Pulsar branded motorcycle. The bike feels smooth when ridden in ideal fashion with a mild buzz creeping in only closer to the red line. Matched to this engine is a 5-speed gearbox with a slipper assist clutch. The clutch is super light and the gearbox is very precise. You will be pleased with this bike even in bumper to bumper traffic for how easy to manage it is. 
there is no heating concern that we noticed in our short first ride experience almost 85% of the torque is easily available for daily commuting duties and both the power and torque curves are flat so you don't have to twist your wrist all the time a sixth gear though would have been welcome for highway touring with my height of 5 feet 8 inches and body weight of 78 kgs the pulsar n250 managed a top speed of 134 kilometers per hour now you know the specs you know everything about the engine this is an all new package so let's talk about the ride and handling of this pulsar n250 is it going to keep you comfortable inside the city because after all this is a street fighter the new bajaj pulsar n250 weighs 162 kgs 2 kg lighter than the semi fed sibling bajaj has made a lot of use of glass filled nylon structure for weight saving and rigidity The weight bias is close to 50/50 and the alloy wheels which look very similar to the NS200 are actually lighter by 500 grams on either ends. The bike rides on an all new tubular chassis with the engine as a stressed member. This is not a perimeter frame. But Bajaj has saved almost 0.8 kgs on the chassis alone compared to the old P220 and a weight reduction of almost 3 kilograms compared to the chassis of the NS200 the new chassis of the Pulsar 250 is stiffer than the P220 in all axes and tighter in two parameters compared to the NS all this while ensuring that the price of the motorcycle stays in check some might look at the rear tire and demand for a fatter rubber but this has been selected to ensure that the bike is easy to flick around The rider's triangle is very comfortable and very similar to the old Pulsar 220. You sit nice and upright holding the wide bars with rear set foot pegs. The riding position is engaging but you can be on the saddle for hours. The seat is comfortable too and offers enough room to move around. The ride and handling package is neutral and the focus seems to be on comfort. The Pulsar N250 soaks up the road undulations well and will allow you to have fun on your weekend rides. The rear monoshock of this bike is adjustable for preload while the front 37 mm telescopic unit is non adjustable. Mid corner undulations can worry you at times but overall this is a easy to ride motorcycle. Aggressive lean angles will also result in the pegs scraping very easily. Tires performed well and the grip was enough at all times from the MRF Zapper compound. Dual channel ABS though is a big miss at this price. We ended up locking the rear wheel too many times during our review ride. But overall the braking performance is good enough to bring the bike in your control. But if you buy the Pulsar F250 over the N250 there is a benefit. You are going to get better wind protection. There is going to be better aerodynamics and because of that you are going to achieve a higher top speed. So that is all that you need to know about this brand new 2021 Bajaj Pulsar N250. You let me know what is your opinion about this motorcycle. This is an all new Pulsar. This is one of the biggest Pulsars ever. Of course, the Pulsar F250 is also part of that biggest Pulsar ever hashtag. If you have any other queries about this bike, do ask me. I will try my best to help you out. Subscribe to the Kradar channel, press that bell icon, stay notified, always ride safe. and tell us what do you think about the pulsar nameplate the pulsar brand has been here in the indian market for two decades and finally we have the new generation pulsars rolling out from the assembly line